I just don't know football that well, maybe not the press box, but you're in a, you seem like you're in a lot of different things. Is there a base defense, or is it just it's going to be very depending on what the offense is doing? Yeah, you know, we're, we're going to be very multiple, and then the nature of, uh, uh, you know, in, in our in our basic stuff, we're going to be very multiple in what we do, but also in the uh, in the um, uh, you know in, in in general football. Every week, we're going to have to play a different type of offense. So we're going to have to change what we do, and that's one thing where offenses may have an advantage over defenses. They continue to run their stuff. Maybe they can execute better, but we have to take over with natural aggressiveness and things like that. What do you feel like is the biggest thing you guys have accomplished at this point in camp? And then with less than two weeks to go, what's kind of the biggest thing or the biggest couple things on the plate that you're like, we need to get this done before we play? Well, the, the ones are coming together, uh, and, and that's that's been good. And that, that we felt like that all the way back at Bend. Um, and then we came back, and now it's kind of more the next week or so is more about the twos. Who's going to step up and help us? And there's a lot, still a lot of uh, positions that are still open in that in that area. Um, and who's going to come in and make an impact? And we're still trying to figure out who those guys are, and that's what we got to get get done. Is Hamilton Hunt uh, making some progress? That's something that looked like a lot with the two, say, in the middle. Yeah, you know, he's thing. up, he's down. There's uh, every, Everybody has their ups and downs. and. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, he's a solid kid, and, and uh, he knows his roles and, and what he has to get done in the defense. He can drive the front of the defense and make all the checks. So he does a great job for us. Some of those young linebackers showing more consistency over the past week, and you mentioned that you needed to see that well, on them. Well, yeah, again, there's ups and downs, and, and depends on when you, you catch me. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And so it's still not where it needs to be, and we're going to still make strides every day. A lot of the young uh, talked to a couple linebackers today. They talked about how they matured over the off season. Have you seen them kind of go through that transition? Definitely, with uh, with a lot of different people. Everybody, you know, these are young kids, and they are naturally just developing and naturally just evolving into different people. Um, and uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, as football players, they definitely have. And and you know, guys that may be seasoned veterans like Caleb, he's even made changes. You know, over these last six months, eight months that I've been here. And so that's good to see. But, you know, the youngest kids are making changes every day, but even the kids that have been around for a while, they're still making changes too. you got a lot of young guys on the defensive line. How have you seen them sort of progress from, you know, week one and bend and then into now to this point? I've been very happy. You know, guys like uh, Elu and, and um, it's really coming. But he's going to be a force. If he just continues doing what he's doing, it'll be great. Uh, you know, the two junior college guys, you got Phil and uh, Paisa, and uh, they're going to, have a major role in what we do. They're going to rotate in uh, and be big players for us, but they've got to lock down some of the finer details that maybe some of the older guys already know. Even going back to when you first came here, and how much did you look at what the defense had done last year schematically, not even just results-wise, um, and just what was that process like? Very, home? you know, very little, uh, you know, there's little things that we do watch. Maybe there's a blitz here and there. But I, but I keep trying to say that, that this is the 2016 version of Oregon State's defense, not the 2015 version. So whatever happened last year, that's in the past, and that's done with. There's nothing changing it. What we can control is this year, and so we have to get this year going um, and create our own identity of what we're going to be all about. And, and uh, that's still forming, and, and it'll still kind of evolve throughout the season, but uh, that's what we got to get done this year. Yeah, you said it's still forming, but if someone were to say, okay, well, what is the 2016 version of this defense? going to look hey, like how you know, would you, we'll what see. would you say <laughs> okay we'll see September 1st but uh you know I like a lot of guys they got to come together and they got to show you know us what they're going to be mm-hmm. you made a lot of improvement the last couple stops you've had why I think it's on state why were you able to do that so oh, is anything there <laughs> <laughs> um well it's just trying to start with the fundamentals and the mm-hmm. techniques and and you know trying to just get back to basic football and then you put a scheme in that you think is going to, you know, be good against the competition you're going to play, and trying to teach them all the scheme stuff. And then you talk, start talking about the finer details and all the situational stuff, whether it's red zone or goal line or backed up or two minute drill or whatever it may be. But you just kind of got to work it. There's no shortcuts. You just got to take it day by day. You got to try to improve. And, and um, you know, every time you step out of the field, and that's what we're about. That's what I'm about. It's just it's a mentoring. We're we're about developing kids. We're about mentoring kids, and then trying to give them all the tools they need to get out on the field and be successful. So a lot of young guys rotating in the secondary today, Omar and Jalen, are, mm-hmm. are they getting the concept of the defense or are they where to Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting it. Jalen's made huge strides for, uh, for sure. And Omar's showing up a lot more than he did in spring. 
uh, you know, and so there's there's a lot of guys, and this like like I said earlier, this week is about the twos, you know, really showing who's going to be an impact player for us. You've always been an odd front guy during your, your coordinator days. Not not always. Not always. Okay. Not always. What made yeah. you what made you you know decide that that was kind of the scheme that you, know, that you I, thought was best? I can't remember if it was 2010, 2011, okay. 2012. It might have been 2012. I'm not sure. But it was just when we were all at Utah State, we made a change um, for the players that we had. And that was the best situation for us. And that's kind of going back to the, the basic of basic philosophy of this defense is we're going to build this around the players. And we're going to try and put players into situations that we think that they're going to be successful. And we have a vision of what we want. But really, after time and after practice and after games, the players are going to tell us this is where they're having success and this is where they're not having success. And then we have to evolve the defense in that direction. So the 3 4 front has many variabilities to it. You can be very multiple in what you're doing. And so you kind of can find that hone in on what your guys may do well is maybe a little easier than in the 4 3. But, you know, there's different philosophies for different ways of getting there, but that's ours. Yeah. Players have talked a little bit about, you know, your approach sometimes tough love you're on them a little bit <laughs> but they seem to really like it I mean is, are you different with different players or is it pretty much consistent well I don't know I mean I'm, I'm trying to be who I am and and you know that's just who I am but there's there's a standard that we feel and we're set you know that, that they must attain and we feel that that's a, a high standard and if uh, they're not there we're gonna let them know that 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 you know they can do better. I, I truly believe that this defense and the players on this defense can achieve great things, and I'm not going to allow them to. to, to my, myself or the other coaches won't allow them to. To you know underachieve. We're going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing until we get their best. And it's it's uh, you know it, some people think it's tough. Well, I just I'm a super optimist. I think that they can play at that level, and so I'm I'm going to push until they get there. Are you having a good time? I am always having a good time. It's a, I get to work outdoors, and this is a beautiful place, so I'm having a great time. How's the players' uh, effort level? Uh, it's, you know, there's times when it's up and times when it's down in practice and all that, and we keep pushing. You know, it might be a little hot today or it might this or that, but they got to grind through and they got to learn that, it, it, that you're never perfect in football. Nothing's ever perfect, and especially on defense. Things are always um, a little bit crazy, or maybe your body's not perfect and you got to grind through all those things. Um, and we're going to, like I said, as coaching staff, we're going to keep pushing for, for the highest effort we can get. Thanks a lot.